I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on one-sided limits. Thanks to my subscribers for interest on this topic. I have taken up few videos on one-sided limits with examples based on piecewise functions, word problems like charges for parking, tax and graph. And this one here is with equations. Question is find the following limits if they exist. Limit when x approaches 1 from left side for square root 1 minus x. Limit when x approaches 1 from right side that plus indicates right side. For the function absolute x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Limit when x approaches 1 from the left side that negative shows left side for absolute x minus 1 and limit for square root x at 0. Perfect. You can actually pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now I'll approach them differently so that you get kind of, uh, I mean, clue as to how to solve such questions. Okay. So let me begin from the very last one, seems to be simple, but it will help me to explain limits from left and right side, okay. This one here is limit when x approaches 0 for square root of x. So let's sketch the graph, okay, let's sketch the graph. We know for square root x, domain is and the range is in quadrant 1, is it okay? So took that advantage using my space that is how square root x looks like perfect so i don't have to explain it much that's how square root x is we need to find limit of this function when x approaches zero now as you can see from here if i try to find limit when x approaches zero from the left side that minus indicates left side for the function square root x what happens well it does not exist because the function is only defined on the right side of zero including zero so this limit does not exist do you see that however if i try to find limit when x approaches zero from the right side of square root x right side really means the if I go from the right side, come closer to zero, I'm going to hit the graph somewhere on the curve and I land here at zero. So the limit, as we go closer and closer, we are approaching zero and therefore this limit is equal to zero. Now when we say find limit at x equals to zero, then we mean that both left and right side limits should be equal. Since they are not equal, this limit does not exist, right? So, so we can write down this answer. Limit square root x for this does not exist. What is the reason? Reason is that the limit when x approaches 0 from the left side for square root x is not equal to limit when x approaches 0 from the right side. That plus. That is why the limit does not exist perfect you can see from here you can only approach it from the right side and in that case the limit is zero is it okay so that is how you normally find normal limits but you have understood the concept how important it is to look for limits from both the sides right so that brings us to this chapter on one-sided limits okay so let's take this transformed function of square root x so let me just graph it okay can you sketch a graph for this one truly speaking minus x means move right so i could write this function as let me rewrite here okay only the function part if i take minus here common i get x minus one do you see that so the function will be let me sketch this right so kind of like this so what we notice here is you could take table of values, sketch the function. If x is 0, we know this is 1. Okay. Now the question is, what is the limit of this function when x approaches 1 from the left side? 
So if you approach from the left side, you are going to land at 0, correct? And therefore, our answer is this is equal to 0. Do you get it? So that is how you have to see, okay? Now, it is not really necessary to graph, but it helps. It helps, okay? So let's get to this function now. I'm going at random. But I hope it doesn't disturb you, right? So uh, it's just part of learning. We can take up any question anytime, right? Okay. Absolute value of x minus 1. What does that mean? That means that absolute x has been translated one unit to the right. Okay. So I can easily sketch this graph now. That's the graph for this function. All my sketches are rough, but they are meaningful, right? That's, that's important. They are all meaningful. Now here, for this particular function, we are interested in finding limit when x approaches 1 from the left side. So we are approaching from the left side. Is it okay? Where do you land? If you are approaching from the left side, you actually land at 0. So this limit is 0. Is it okay? Now this function you will find that limit from the right side is also 0 and the value of function is also 0. This is a continuous function. Do you see? So value of the function, limit of the function, one-sided limit of the function, at 1, all are 0. All are same. And this function is continuous, correct? Okay, let's move on. Part B. Now, as you can see, they are kind of related. Mm -hmm. You see that absolute function is always positive. However, x minus 1 could be positive or negative. Is that okay? Accordingly, we have a graph for this function, which kind of looks like this. You can always sketch the graph. It should look like what? At 1, value doesn't exist, right? At 1, value doesn't exist. But if x is greater than 1, it is positive, correct? So, so the graph could be like this. Is it okay? Kind of like this. So that is the graph for the given function. 1 and this is minus 1. We are interested in right side limit. Is it okay? If you could see this one with positive here, right side limit. So if you are approaching from right side, you are approaching 1. So the answer is 1, not negative 1. But the limit exists. However, limit does not exist at 1, right? Since we have kind of jumped discontinuity. So what you've learned here is one side limit of a function may or may not exist. Correct? For example, in square root function, when you approach 0 from the left side, it doesn't exist. Right? Now, left side, right side limits may or may not be same. Correct? Second, the value of the function may be different from the limit of the function. Correct? So I hope that really helps you to understand the concept. And uh, now let me give you one question to practice. You need to answer uh, limit of the function and the function is f of x equal to x squared divided by x. At find limit as x approaches let's say when x approaches 0 for the function f of x. Is that okay? So find the limit of this function. Justify your answer using left one-sided limits. Let me put it like this. So, so find limit of this function when x approaches 0 and justify your answer using one-sided limits. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.